been working in. Hello everybody. Okay, so I thought I would go live because I've been talking with some friends online and we have our whole little thing, but I'm like, no, now's the time to go live and talk about this with all the people on my social media who are annoyed with everything that I post. So today I wanted, I'm in Canada and I wanted to talk about informed consent and how we have what the freedom to consent or not consent. Now there's different types of consent in Canada. There's verbal, there's written, um, and what you can use in order to make an informed decision. So we have the ability, thanks to um, our rights and freedoms here in Canada, to not consent to things. And some of the things that we have the ability to not consent to are when it comes to health and medical procedures um, and they can be verbally given or it comes to a, a disability or something like that you can give informed consent verbally and they have to honor that so I do not consent to wearing a mask and because a mask is a medical apparatus then they have to honor the fact that I don't consent because I have made an informed decision on a medical procedure that just doesn't make any sense to me and that my knowledge and my research on that allows me to not consent to wearing that and that is a freedom that we are all given but we don't know how to apply it in our lives now, um, the, the reason I learned about consent is because when my child was born, I did what every mother does, and I took him to a wellness check. And at that wellness check, he received the bad V word. And uh, I took a perfectly healthy child to get his V word, and he came home sick every single time. And I took him four times because I didn't wake up until the fourth time and every single time he was perfectly healthy and he got sick and then he was perfectly healthy and he got sick and he got worse and worse each time I took him until the last time where his fever was so high that he ended up having what's called a febrile seizure now they tell you that's normal that's normal don't panic that's normal anything that happens neurologically means that that is not normal that means something is happening to the body that is triggering a neurological reaction, okay? Now, had I been given the proper informed information to make an informed decision on these bad V words that I was going to put into my child's body, and I was given the actual information, I wouldn't have done it. Because I would have outweighed the pros versus cons. But I wasn't given the adequate information in order to make an informed choice on my decision. And it wasn't until my experience and my child's experience that triggered a mother's intuition, thankfully before anything worse happened, to look into what I was putting in to my child's and mine and my other family members bodies when you make an informed decision and you will do the research and where there is risk there must be choice now people don't understand this they are being falsely led they've been they're being deceived they are not getting the adequate information they are being given false information or just not, I shouldn't say they're not getting false information. They're getting just the tip of the iceberg of information. Just enough so that they don't question anything. Because if they were given the whole amount of information, they'd probably make a different choice. Now, right now, people, they have an obvious choice. That a mask is a medical apparatus 
that the lungs function of the body is to excrete toxins. And when you have that medical apparatus on your face, you are not fully excreting the toxins from your body. Now, majority of people in Canada are unhealthy to begin with. So now you have an unhealthy vessel with a medical apparatus that isn't allowing the oxygen or the toxins within your lungs and your body to be fully detoxed out of it and you're actually inhaling them back in and now you have an unhealthy vessel becoming unhealthier when they're telling you that it's helping you or saving other people's lives that is called deception but because of the lack of knowledge in society today, because they don't want you to know what they're doing to you, because if you knew what they if they if you knew what they were doing to you, you wouldn't do it, right? Because you'd have the information and the knowledge to make an informed decision on all of this. So they're keeping you just dumbed down enough that you won't make an informed choice because they're only giving you the tip of the iceberg of information in order for you to make an informed choice. Then you throw in peer pressure, their intimidation. When my child was vaccine injured, I literally had a doctor look at me when I, and, and say that I was like pretty much the worst mother in the world. How would I know what is best for my child? They know more, they know what's best for my child. And uh, yeah, they made me feel this big. And then I had friends who I went to and, con and I said, hey, this is what's happening to my kid. Like this isn't not normal. And guess what they did? They made me feel that big because they didn't have the same experience as me. And how dare I be an anti-vaxxer because that's not normal. We have been told to not listen to these people. Why? Because they don't want you to know that there is risks to these things. Because if you do know there's risks to these things, you find out they're giving them to you at birth, like two months old. But they're giving them at birth. Vitamin K shot is synthetic. It is a synthetic shot, and you're getting it at birth. And now you have this whole world of people full of autoimmune disorders and cancers, leukemias, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, neurological seizures, all of these things, and we can't figure out what's causing them? We can't figure that out. And the minute you question it, you're dumb? That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. So my job is to help people so they don't have a similar experience to me or worse. I've been doing research for six and a half years since my child was vaccine injured. Six and a half years. I have more information on the stuff that these things are causing in this world than I can even contain. I have binders and links and everything else full. Like, and people, I can't function because I'm like, I'm like, how is the deception this great? And so many people so blind to it. And I was there once. I was blind to it once too. And it was smacking me in the face with my child. And no mother should have to have the guilt of, that they hold. And they, they give you this form at the well check. And they're like, here, we need you to sign this, sign this. And you don't even put two and two together until you realize they're having you sign it, so they remove liability from them to you, the parent, and there's nothing you can do about it, because you sign it. You sign it, and you go against the medical community, and they make your life hell. They make your life hell. They make you look crazy, they make you look uneducated, and that's not, the, that's not what any of that is. So, um, they can try and remove my social media pages. They can try and silence me any way they can. I'll just keep coming back because that's just who I am. But I don't care at the end of the day what anybody does. If you want to stand in line and go get a vaccine, 
for this 99.9% survival rated virus, which is a virus, which when you get a cold, what do they do? They send you home, right? So this is a virus and they send you home for 14 days and you get feeling better. A virus can't be treated with medication. Plain and simple. It takes good nutrition, boosting your immune system, and fighting it all off at home. But if you want to stand in line and go get one, be my guest. But put two and two together, okay? Try and put two and two together. We are a generation and a society full of illness, and for some reason, nobody seems to be able to put two and two together. And it took me a while, and now I figured it out. And they poison us, they poison our food, they make money off us for doing it. We're the sickest generation, and it's just mind blowing that nobody can get it. So I hope that more and more people, and, and don't take my word for it, do your research. I'll post links under the video in the comments here. Do your own research. Do your own research. Do your research on consent and how Canada, we have the freedom to consent to things. I don't consent to doing medical practices that don't work for my family. I don't consent to it. And I shouldn't have to be stickered or labeled or banned from stores or not be able to get groceries or put my kids in sports because we don't agree with a medical procedure because it has risks and where there are risks then people need to have choice so i hope you all have a good day i hope you really listen with your ears and see with your eyes what these things are doing to our society and you do the research that's all that's all that i have to say i hope you all have a good day